What's up boys? Rivera here. Have you guys ever done a custom Hot Wheel? And when you're done with it, you're like, damn, that thing looks good. Like the best one you've done so far, right? Well, I have, uh, you know, three pieces I want to show off real quick. I have two shout outs, two special shout outs that I want to give out. And um, a couple pieces that I found last week. So let me put the, let me put the camera on top of my uh, workbench and show you guys what's up. All right, before we get into these pieces right here, here's the uh, couple pieces that I found. Uh, I went to, I don't know, something called me to go into a Fry's Electronics. Here's the bag. Fry's Electronic place, and uh, I found these, these two pieces in here. This is that, another recolor, a 55 Chevy Beller Gasser. Where's that damn glare, huh? <laughs> Watch. Another recolor is, uh, what is that, the third one, mainline? So that's pretty cool. And blue. Probably do a wheel swap, of course. So there it is. And the, uh, this was in front of the pegs, this one was tight. The 68. Corvette, a gas monkey garage. Uh, I'm gonna do a wheel swap on that one, so I'll show it off on the next video. I won't crack it yet. So that's man, there's a cool piece to find, man. Really happy to find that. And this ugly thing, the Dragon Blaster. Reason I got it because it's a it's a treasure hunt. There's a logo right there, so I'll crack that one and put it up on display. All right. Um, for my last video, I told you guys that I was going to do this um, custom is it, custom 69 Chevy. Man, I, I messed up on drilling that rivet out. Went a little too deep, so I glued it in there. So, you know, I stripped the paint. I painted it. It's uh, antique brass metallic paint. Clean, clean paint, man. I did this. Uh, I sprayed this paint before. I did it on... An 83 Silverado clear coat, same same thing. So that's all it is. Just paint, clear coat, no details, headlights, nothing. Real riders, road's pretty good. So you gotta show your flaws. We mess up, we mess up, whatever. Make the best out of it. I start. We put glue on it. Need more, all right. So that's a cool piece. All right, first one is a special shout out I want to give out to uh, Bare Metal HW. If you guys are not following this guy, man, this guy has a lot of content on YouTube as far as Hot Wheels, diecast, old stuff, how tos, what he does. This is a Hudson Hornet. I did a little rustic thing on it, but the reason I'm bringing this up is because he has a video. It's a quick tip: how to uh, what is that? How to change colored chrome back to silver. Oh, here's my custom. See that? We went from a gold gold base and uh, removed the gold, went back to chrome. And here's my custom Hudson Hornet. This thing is smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. We use this uh, light blue metallic paint. There's the name. Clear coat. Headlights, tail lights. Yeah, no, they didn't remove everything, but I like it. I like this piece a lot, man. So, shout out to you, my brother. Really cool video. Thank you for that. I was going nuts trying to figure out how to remove that gold, that gold color right there. So, I'll put a link to that video in the description below so you can check it out and uh, subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. And on my last video, I told you guys that I was going to do some JDM stuff. So remember that I that I said I was going to do a, a Skyline. So my next shout out is going to be for Hot Wheels Costa Rica. Um, shout out to you, my friend. The reason being is uh, I searched, you know, I, I saw your decals part two video, the decal application. And uh, I polished this thing. 
I could have done a better job, but I polished it and I ordered some decals to do the same thing. This piece, guys, here it is. Here's what it looks like, right? Look what I did to this thing, man. Can you believe that? Let's check it out. My custom Zamek Skyline GTR R34. For some real riders, these wheels off are off of this. You know the Mazda RX-3 from the Japan Historics? These wheels were hot when they came out. So I could have polished it way more, but I was just too anxious to see how this thing would turn out. So put some same temples and clear coated. So this thing is clear. Did some details to the grill right there in the front, tail lights. You know what I mean? Really, really cool, man. I give myself props for this one. Shout out to Nesto for the decals. Thanks, Carnal, man. Without you, this piece would not be possible, man. Really, really cool piece. So we're going to keep going with that. So shout out to Costa Rica. Hot, um, Hot Wheels Costa Rica. I'll put uh, the link to that video in the description below also so you guys can check out how to, how to apply temples on customs and stuff like that so uh, he has a lot of fun videos on his channel he hasn't posted in a couple months but you know it's he'll be around hopefully and um that's all i got for right now now let's crack this ugly thing and see what it looks like uh why do you guys do this hot wheels you know i don't have it so there it is right there I'm at uh, 920 subscribers, so it looks like a, a giveaway is coming. So probably at a thousand. We'll see. And uh, what else is going on? We have a uh, we have a diecast Hot Wheels show that's coming up on Sunday, the uh, 26th, I think it is. Yeah. So I'll be there if you guys want to swing by and check out that spot. Um, I think they're on Facebook and Instagram and just search them up Jimmy's USA and uh, I'll have a special guest for that week on that video so um, stay tuned for that that's it for right now I have these two pieces coming up next I still have that Silverado the 07 Silverado and the uh, Honda Civic EF but hopefully I can throw these two in there too here's another 83 Chevy Silverado and the customize them. Remember these temples, right? So I'm already giving you guys a hint. And the desirable custom Datsun 240Z. I'm just gonna do a wheel swap on this one. The paint on this thing is clean. Details probably so. It already has the details on the tail lights. So I'll switch the wheels, put some real riders on that thing. So there you have it guys uh thanks for watching have a good week people i'll talk to you guys later